as you are aware, Halloween night was extremely busy, um, as well as the day after due to the Big Ten football game. Um, we had extra police presence out there, so everything actually worked out very well. Spot the uh, 4 1, got a pedestrian struck. Unconscious male in the backyard, number one male, plaid button down shirt and jeans. 6 10, I've uh, ETOH laid out in the street by Georgian Commercial. You want this to go to city? Yeah, affirmative. Uh, we're going to institute the uh, MCI plan here. Currently, I have three yellow tagged individuals inside the student center, all ETOH related. They're stable. I'm going to be contacting Med Central to uh, see what their resources are. Okay, all right. All right. See you next time. Hey, Mr. President. Good to see you. Can you just tell me a little bit about what happened on Halloween? No. No? Was there time to answer any questions? All right, do I have anyone in route to uh, Rutgers Student Center at this point? I have uh, three ETOHs. I received I spoke with Med Central. They're currently stacking all ARIs. They're using uh, Medrescue 1 to go to Georgian Commercial for that unconscious. Yeah, I was. 57 Ray Street is uh, up and going again. We're shutting it down for the second time. Need you to stand by on that. Come over to 19 Cortland Street. Just had a five to residence happen. Uh, number two male broke into the house, stole an iPad, and a couple other items, unknown direction of flight. 44 Robinson Street, 44 Robinson Street, crossing Hamilton and Central for the unconscious after the assault. Police on the way, time 0031. Okay, uh, going by Georgian Commercial at uh, ETOH laid out on the ground. Uh, we passed to Med Rescue 1. We confirmed that they were able to get out there. All right, I just got here. I'll head over there in a minute. I know there were some issues that were brought up um, to the council regarding um, EMS or the, uh, to be more specific, ambulance ambulances uh, showing up on locations. I spoke to Sergeant Trigg, who actually ran the detail for me that night, and a lieutenant who was working that night, and there were no issues. Now, before uh, you leave the office, you want to get a chance, put an urgent text for the fourth uh, ambulance. We're trying to scout away for your uh, your EMS. They're uh, calling out their volunteer squads. First, Chief Rutgers, I'm going to be uh, going inside. We just took two patients from inside the ambulance 729, and we'll start a uh, casualty collection point inside. We got a number of stacked jobs. We've had one stack for uh, half an hour with patrol, Stefani, and Mettler. That's just with triage. I currently stand at four patients. I have to choose them. Go ahead. This is probably one uh, EMS over here in front of Connie Roll. I got a male down, bleeding from the head. He's not conscious. EMS already en route. Um, double checked with the hospital for the administration. Actually, police director Caputo did um, earlier this week. And again, nothing through that. Hey, Peter's advised us they only have three beds at this time. They're working on getting more uh, in a little drunk pink area. Apparently, Med Central's got 10 stacks. All right, contact Med Central. Make a request for them for mutual aid for one of the medical annual buses. St. Peter's reporting only three beds left at this time. We may have to start transporting to further hospitals. With another ETOH in front of the SAC, uh, we're going to do the best we're off the bus 4187. So I'm going to need a second break at this location. It's going to be a while. 611, they are calling the county to acquire the bus. Ready, Steve. Be advised I'm up to five confirmed inside the student center this morning. North Stealth is going to be transported to ETOH. Uh, what hospital has, is, has available beds? Robert Woods, definitely no go. Uh, St. Peter's should have some beds left. Uh, there was a, a breakdown in communication somewhere in the hospital. Uh, we've met on this, all the powers to be, the hospital, Rutgers, everybody was taking care of the issue and assured that it won't happen again. 
no ambulance available on this time. They were advised now. We're trying, but no one's available. New Brunswick Ambulance, number 123, taking the individual to St. Peter's. Yeah, I'll uh, see if I can clear someone. Right now we have uh, all officers handling calls. I'm in front of College Ave Student Center, in front of the ABP with CSOs for the robbery victim, was knocked unconscious, had his phone taken. All right, contact Mid Central. Tell them North Stone is available. Ask them to assign them to that call. Also advise them I have two additional inside the Center. Copy 611. I got County OEM on the line looking for a contact, somebody I'm seeing. What's your pleasure? I'll function as a contact, have them pull up on College Avenue, uh, past four hour comments. No, I got him on the phone, they're looking for a uh, phone contact, somebody I'm seeing, they're saying an hour plus is less time. They, uh, they're trying to get staff together. As for Middlesex County Sheriff's Department, the uh, bus is 20 minutes out from Sayreville. Who was responsible for the breakdown of communication? That information, Mr. Um, Director Hall, do you have that information? I don't time? have the information. Okay, so there, was, the there was other people from Robert Wood, uh, uh, the hospital, the higher ups. They also had no idea what was going on at the time. So, so somewhere there was a lapse of information from dispatch to somewhere else. Are you ready to copy on a bed status for the hospital? Hey, okay, from. Okay, so we're going to have to get to uh, Robert Wood has three critical, five non critical. St. Peter's has two critical, zero non critical. Just hang on four or five. If we have any additional patients from there, they're probably going to end up being transported to uh, JFK. Yeah, Hamilton and Plum, there's a 43, male got a broken nose, requesting EMS. I know where you're responding from. Need you to head up to Howland 27 at the Exxon. Uh, Grammar reports of shots fired, seven shots. 48. Suspect was in a black truck with Texas plates. New Brunswick, this is North Brunswick shooting. They're already here, they're uh, racing down uh, Jersey Avenue now. I guess they got something, but they know about it, we're clear. Oh. I have eyes of she's on bleed from the neck. Or the rescue four in the turnaround in New Brunswick, Easton and Prosper, Easton and Prosper, where the person struck by a bicycle. Time 2.16. Uh, Atlantic Ambulance here, stop by. They're going to run in the hospital for EMS. Fort. But I think it's important to know that they met, that they recognized that there was a challenge, and it was addressed. It was addressed. And, and so how was it addressed? What is being done they to, have to that, make sure it doesn't happen again? They have that, that uh, Director Rose, do you have that information? How I do have it, but I'm not going to divulge how okay. it was addressed, though. It was addressed. Thank you. Uh, let me get an ambulance at, uh, okay. boy, uh, mine in, uh, Central, please, will you? 4 uh, 450. Yeah, maybe someone hit his face. EMG Westville will be located on College Avenue to set up triage in the map. It's going to be on Morrell Street under the overhang of the student center. On next street, across from Thomas Suite. An unconscious patient locked in a vehicle. We were trying to alternate if uh, the crew advised if St. Peter still has room, they can go there. Alright, so we can bring this patient to uh, St. Peter's? Yeah, for him, try one more. Yeah, I'm going to need your guy to stay for that another hour and uh, handle calls. Got a uh, Backed up 15. Mostly uh, parking and uh, loud parties. As part of the College of Student Center, the buses are being completely blocked from moving by irate students. I think cab companies aren't answering, they're all busy. Uh, 